Hey, DreamMate here. Welcome to the channel where I hope to uh, streamline your Game Pass experience. Uh, today is a new game. We are starting a new game. Uh, I wonder if you can tell what it might be with the outside uh, banner, sir. So over here, <laughs> uh, we have uh, a new thing I'm doing on the channel here just to help streamline things. Uh, so up top there, you'll see the uh, achievements, uh, the total number of achievements. And the total number of uh, gamer score that you can uh, achieve throughout this game here. And I will uh, keep that updated with each episode as to how far the achievements are going and stuff like that. Uh, uh, but let's let's get into the game. Let's give it a go here and uh, uh, get going. Um, so we've actually loaded in and uh, we are ready to press a button. So there we go. Let's uh, Let's do it here. There you go. So that is my character um, with his big brother's overalls and sweater. Nice fro though. Little bandana. So I have been through some of this so I will be able to kind of talk you through my uh, first little bit of this here. Uh, you want to actually go right. Um, left is just a dead end and you can go under the water. This guy uh, does not have the need to breathe. Um, and yeah, you're just trying to keep going right. Uh, weird thing about this game, uh, I will say right away, is um, if you notice, there was no story. Uh, there was no nothing. All you do is kind of just start out. And you're, you're this character and you're going this way. Uh, so, that is, that's, that's the entirety of the story. So the uh, story in that regard is uh, kind of lacking in my opinion, because there is none, and uh, if you want to score good on my channel, you're going to need uh, to have a story, a good story, and a good ending, and if there's no story, no ending, that's full two-point loss. There we go, a little spelunking for him. So uh, what we are actually trying to do right now is actually trying to get to our ship, uh, which uh, is a little bit of a process to do, but... Um, still fun nonetheless. The uh, ambient sound is always nice. So we go that, and then go up this way, oh, and then that way. And how do I do? Oh yeah, I gotta pull this over to that button again. Yeah. That should be good. And then we and poof, the door's open. They do uh, have some nice music. Okay, so um, what else do we do? Just keep going right. <laughs> That's all it seems to be. It's just moving right. That's all this game seems to be about. There you go. We got a little door here. Crack this bad boy open. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we gotta go up here and then onto the roof. Oh, didn't mean to push that in there, but okay. shook his head at us for some I've seen that so uh, we want to hook it up down on the bottom there was a little anchor down bottom there okay so we grab this boy bad boy and we want to anchor it over here there so that it's open and then we don't need to actually go up yeah okay that's cool all right keep going just keep going right 
You're going to hear me say that a lot in this game, because that's all this game is about. Just going right. <laughs> and um, I, as much as I'd like to pan around and look around, it's not something that you can do in this game. So uh, not, not anything yet, anyways, or anything that I've encountered. Uh, it's just going right. Yeah, every time I would dip under the water like that, it would glitch out. I'm actually going to make sure it's not doing that for you guys. Because, yeah, it would just, like, full screen glitch right there. It would just every time. So, uh, it, it's looking better. Uh, I will keep an eye on it there. I don't want it to glitch out for you guys. That's why it was delayed. Uh, it wasn't working properly. Um, okay, so there's something going on in here. Check it out. Oh, a little ventilation shaft we can go in. Hello. A ladder. Turn on the switch. Engage the switch. Oh. And grab this guy. That guy is just a vacuum. There, so we'll put that away. And woof, there we got that open. And this is where I put on my diving sweater. So this is kind of where everything takes place here is your ship. Um, it has a mind of its own and you kind of just err along for the ride and hoping for the best is really what it seems like uh, for the most part. So let's just uh, turn the ship on, which is standing on that for a second. That'll activate everything and get the little collar going. That mask cranked up and turned on. We are geared up and into the water. We are set. We got a nice back breeze. So to, in order to hoist the main sail, you come in here, you um, interact with this. You're going to uh, bring up the main mast. And then once it's in place, you can kind of get out of there by hitting B again. And uh, what do you need to do? You need to raise these sails. So you gotta go up the mast. Grab the line. And uh, tie it off. And now this is controls of the actual sails. We're not gonna pop them open because we'll rip them wide open on the, the doorway there. But once we are uh, out a little ways and we have some room, I can start to open the uh, sails. So. Um, it's just as easy as, there we go, it's starting to be clear. Uh, just pushing it forward, pushing the little unit forward will, and then you'll catch, when both sails are open, you're trucking. 
Uh, it's always good to kind of stay at the helm because, uh, well, you'll see it in a minute or a few minutes here. Because the uh, winds are always changing. You notice there, I, my, I lost my other sail, so there's a spot where they're going to work better for us right here-ish. And once the other one's out, now we just cruise them. They kind of need to play with it because the winds like, kind of change a little bit. have a little bit of a mind of its own, this ship. I don't know what it's called. I don't even know what it kind of looks like. I, I, I don't know what would that look like. Piece of a pod racer or something? <coughs> Alright, so let's get that speed going back. Oh, no, we know this is... This is where we want to... There's a house that's in close there. We don't want to damage it. So actually, I think we can leave We can leave the mast up. So right there, the first time I came through here, I ripped my, my sail, all the, all the trash. Let's, uh, we actually didn't need to disconnect this. We could have left it on. Let's, uh, so that's going to give us some speed to get by here. And yeah, you want to keep kind of leave the sail backwards because that house will tear that to pieces. So this is, that's your kind of first challenge there. I uh, made it a little easier on you guys. Uh, but it seems to just kind of be reacting to what, what comes and just try and keep it going full speed. So we can tie that off. Crank this up here a little bit. Some speed. Left trigger to zoom out. So we can zoom out. Oh boy, okay. Come on, drop it. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's obstacles you need to kind of worry about and react to. Uh, to be able to worry about it and you can actually jump into the water like uh, the rest of it there and if you go up to the the uh, front mast there you can go up to the front end and it kind of gives you a little bit more perspective ahead of what you can expect um, but we are pretty much clear of that bridge so we can put this guy back up Go, oh, clip that guy in place. And we need to go up and grab the. I don't know what this is, main line of the uh, sails or something, but uh, we're gonna hook up the sails and we're off. Whoosh. Did I go past them? Where is it? There we go. Trucking now. <laughs> Try and catch those winds. I lost them. There we go. Go, baby, baby. Go, baby, go. I gotta think of a name for this ship here. I wonder what I should call her. up or okay leaving it up 
Uh, so this is our first little puzzle here because we're right at, they they throw puzzles at you at the, this game because just uh, I, I I don't particularly I'm not fond of puzzle games because uh, I think it's really boring to just do a puzzle and as a reward they give you another puzzle um, but it is what it is and some people enjoy these kinds of games so uh, let's what do we got here back this over. We need to get back up there. They're like a halfway point. There. And then we saw it in half. There we go. Oh, I was able. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we. We need the pallet jack, that's right, we need the pallet jack to do this. Alright, stuff that pallet jack in there, and then, oh. We need this log over here, because we gotta be able to jump up top. So we'll drag this in as close as we can, and that'll give us the opportunity to jump up top. Oh. Which has something that I really like. Boo, boo, boo. This is now our stud taken carry with us. It is a great little tool to have. You'll see me use it, I'm sure, here soon. Um, but we do need to get out of the way. So let's put that down for a second. Oh. Yeah, put it over there. And you don't need to be here anymore. Let's hit these switches. Oh, I broke it. Oh, that's too bad. But what is this thing? Oh, look at this. It's a repair. You just come over here and you stand near it. And when that torch is up, oh, it's, it's a repair thing. So um, then let's give it a try again. See if after if I repaired it properly. All right. Out of my way. Go, all done. So let's grab this guy. And L you. Did we land on the ship? Did we landed on the ship. Okay, right on. So I uh, put my repair thing down over here usually just in case. Oh, I just totally busted. I left the mast up and I broke it. Okay, so let's uh, grab this because we're going to be needing it here, but let's wait until this thing cruises through. I um, didn't realize I'd, I'd left the I, I, I knew I left the mast up, but I shouldn't have left the mast up. So uh, Don't do like I did and put your mast down before you go through that area there. Okay, so let's repair this bad boy over here. Go. Everything's all repaired. All right, let's uh, let's get her going full speed ahead. All right, go. Let's see if we can't uh, reenact the Titanic here. Let's go full speed ahead. Got to try and break a speed record. Let's do it. Let's go. It's uh, something that it's, uh, I guess if you have a, like a really stressful job or uh, I don't know, you just had like the worst day imaginable, this might be a good game to kind of just unwind on and not think about anything. Um, cause it's nostalgic and there's a nice, um, I, my other suggestion would be, 
this is gonna sound really weird. Uh, use the washroom before you play this game, because um, there's a lot of water washing sounds and a lot of ocean type sounds. And if you have to use a washroom, it's gonna be an excruciating experience. So use the washroom before playing this game. Never had to say that with a game before, but uh, there it is. Uh, use the washroom before playing this game, or you're gonna be uh, kind of regretting it. Wind and let's go, let's go look at the sights. With the uh, little caribou running in the background, oh, that's nice. Nicely timed. So I'm not sure actually what we're in voyage of or why. Like I said earlier, the storyline is like what storyline? <laughs> There's a guy in an oversized sweater making a ship go right. Uh, that's that's the entire story. And you can't pan around. That is, that's my biggest. Oh, why? Because I would have loved to have full 360 pan of the ship. So maybe they're just testing you out, making you trying to learn things here. Um. But yeah, we're just keep cruising forward. I uh, do like to go out to the front, like I said, so I can kind of see what's coming ahead and I can run back and drop the sails and drop the mast if I need to and stuff here. Because uh, things always seem to present themselves and especially now it's feeling like, okay, well, yeah, we're going to start moving back. We're going to uh, drop both sails. We need those sails to keep going a little bit more. I, it's probably, if anything, it's better to drop the sails and then be a little shy of where you need to go. And then this will give us some speed and I can just hold on to this and let it go when we're getting there because uh, I definitely feel that we're gonna run into something here. All this debris. So the further I go back, a little bit more speed comes with it. Yeah, that would probably rip the sail off the right hand side there, so. It was a good choice to let it, uh, let it go back anyway. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I, I've been on a couple of boats, but not overly uh, nautical, so my terms uh, for being the, the shipper are gonna be very basic. Let's uh, tie that bad boy off and get some more speed here. It looks like we're a little bit more open. Try and catch that really good air. Oh, too far. Town in the background over there. Old valley and stuff. Try to catch that air a little bit better. There we go. I think that instead of car, uh, calling it far changing tides, they should have um, called it far changing winds. Because the winds are what is changes. I haven't seen any tides. I haven't seen anything that's you know, reacting against my ship here, it's it's the wind. Far changing winds. And we are uh, coming up near the end of the episode in about five or six minutes. Oh, hitting something, hitting something. No good, no good, no good. All right, drop that thing, get it out of here. I just scraped on something, my controller went nuts. I gotta go check out and make sure the bottom of the ship's fine. Yeah, I hit some. Yeah, 
guess maybe it was just a low ground. I don't see any score marks or anything. Nothing really seems out of place. It's the first time you're seeing under here, but this is this is kind of just normal. There's nothing nothing wrong out of that. Okay, it just kind of made me think I just scraped something damaged. I didn't have to go and repair underneath the ship, but uh, I guess not. So let's uh, let's move forward. Hoist up that sail. Hello. I definitely get the feeling we're gonna run into something here too, so I'm gonna leave it going a little bit slower. <laughs> Actually let's crank it up. There's nothing in my way here right now, so let's get some speed. So it only takes me about, uh, I don't know, five or ten seconds to drop the speed should I need to. Go. Moving on forward. Oh, baby. That's not good. just break it or did I get it in enough time that it was already starting to come down when it hit the thing no I broke it let's see sparks coming off of there it's uh what do we have this guy for here so there we go and I honestly, I don't know if that thing, it does look like I'm using little recharged power cell things every once in a while. Oh, we are about to hit something here. And the ship has no minds of it all and I can't stop it from not hitting it. Okay. So let's see what's down here. So we got a floating platform. Trying to pull it a little bit faster, but it's not letting me. Okay, so this should help me. Allow me to get, help me get over that. Oh, we got something in here. Thing. It needs some fuel. I'm not sure what that is. Is this the fuel? I think that's just part of it. Okay, so we need to. Oh no, there's a. How do I. I'm gonna have to open that up up top. Oh no, is that enough to do it? There we go. Oh, okay, so each unit unlocked a fireman. to go right so we're gonna put it to the right position there and then get on out of here oh, there's another fuel here I think they're trying to get us to hook the car up. Let's 
bring this fuel back over here, then we can push it forward to have it hook into the other car, maybe? Maybe that's what they're trying to have me do here. And I honestly, this part I haven't been to yet. This is this is just me going through it. So um, that is kind of the end of the episode. So we'll take this train to its destination and find out exactly what it is. And once we're back on the ship, then we'll end the first episode there for you guys. Probably don't need to jump on that platform. I just feel like I do. We just ran out of fuel. So you're getting by here is the tricky part. I don't know if it's possible. Gee, it's only opening part of it. check out the rest of that room and it seemed a lot more interesting so there was lots of stuff we can take that one seems worthy of holding on to well, uh, I don't know if any of this stuff is anything Throw that down here too. <laughs> we'll just take it all. Yeah, I don't know what'll help me because they don't tell me what it might things might be. You know, like this is a repair kit and this type of things. Um, so let's just make sure we can kind of get everything. So it's some sort of map, and I'm here. 
so we want to keep going. Like it, it doesn't even show us. So we just keep going right. We'll be a kind of an ocean area. Okay. All right. So grab that fuel. Whoosh. And we want to go left again. So put that in there. Crank it on. Get some oxygen into the situation here. Honestly, I'm guessing that I have to go back left so that I can drop through a hole in the thing down onto where I was. Or we can hoist up the, uh, that's probably where it is, hoist up that tanker or move that tanker. So far, those uh, little pieces of things I put on the top of the train are staying in place. So yeah, it will be a little bit of a longer episode, but uh, we've, we've come a long ways. I'd like to at least finish this puzzle area here, and then we'll get back into the ship before we end the episode. So a little longer here today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you do like anything that you saw, uh, feel, feel free to subscribe, like the video. I do uh, put, do tips and tricks, try and uh, do reviews, um, try and streamline your Game Pass experience, make things a little easier on you. So that's the end of the line that way. Now we go over here. There we go. And that's gonna. Oh no, that's gonna hook right into my my ship. Never mind. Uh, something's moving. Okay, well it's hooked into the ship either way. Oh, what did it? It did something. Oh, it opened up. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, these packages. Somebody needs their packages. We gotta make sure to deliver these bad boys. So that one go. There, you go down two. One more. Oh. Apparently my jumping skills aren't great. Okay, and then this one. Don't want anybody to lose their packages. So let's make sure we try and Alright, my turn now. Ow. was right onto the ship. That's cool. Let's uh, put these guys in a bit of a better spot. Which I think could be down here. inside that room because I kind of get the feeling we're gonna have to go underwater here so better to have them in that room in here because it 
feels like it'd be better sealed. I don't know if these things actually do anything. I'm probably just carrying around garbage. But, <laughs> yeah, that was a, Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, so we have that repair thing, which I know is our repair thing. We'll take that down there as well. Just in case we're going underwater. And now we can go hit that button and see what happens. There we go. Aha. Now we can go inside. Install the engine module. Nice. That was an awesome preview of what we're going to be doing on next episode. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me for uh, Far uh, Changing Tides, which is uh, no storyline whatsoever. I'm this kid in this oversized sweater going right. That's all I can tell you. Um, and uh, the achievements and gamer scores in the top right hand corner there for you guys. I. Uh, Hopefully this is helpful to you. Uh, it's kind of a uh, nice music. Uh, I do suggest you use a washroom before playing this game because there's so much sloshing around and sounds and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, if you did like anything you saw, um, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm just reminding you until next time, take care of yourself, your friends, and your family. Take care.